Hello everyone and welcome to another Bits and Bobs Unity tutorial. Um, we're going to be looking at overlap spheres, which basically is uh, imagine a sphere surrounding a, a point. Uh, the point will in this example be the enemy capsule, which is the red one. We also have a blue capsule here, uh, the player, marked uh, or tagged I mean as a player. Uh, we also have a ground element untagged and the enemy object untagged. And the idea behind this sphere is uh, that um, the enemy should be able to detect when the player is within its proximity and then it will start following the player. Um, as if this was like an RPG and you went within uh, the enemy's aggro range and it would start uh, pursuing you and attacking you. For instance, that's one use of it. Uh, so that's what we're going to be looking into. Um, so. I have on the enemy here a script which is completely empty. I have a player controller script, a very easy one, a simple one on the player and a camera controller which is just giving me a first person view. So I can walk and look around the scene and move this player around. So let's start coding. Uh, on the enemy we want uh, first and foremost uh, easy function for him to follow the player uh, no matter what so let's start with making a public float speed uh, let's say that uh, we want him to move um, well, to smoothen out this movement we're gonna multiply it with the time delta time so we we'll just call it a float step speed times time delta time um, after that we need, yeah, ju it's just a simple function, obviously in a better game you probably would um, handle movement differently, uh, but that's entirely up to you and uh, it's pretty easy to change uh, later on. So uh, vector 3 move towards and we want the current position which is the position it, uh, or the position of origin which is his own position, which is the transform position. The target is the player, so we have to game object find the game object called player. As you see here, he is called player. Uh, we want to get his component, which is the transform. Access the transform's uh, position, which is where we want to move towards. And finally the speed, which is uh, the step that we made here. So if we go back, uh, go to the enemy, make sure we have a speed, uh, let's set it to say 2. Um, the player has 5, so just for... Oh, I fell off. Let's try that again. So now, wherever I go, the red one will follow. Uh, the problem is here that he follows me with well, no matter what. So we only want him to follow us within a certain if we're in within a certain range of him. That's where the overlap sphere comes into play. And the overlap sphere is used like this. It's you call the physics, then you call overlap, oops, overlap sphere. It will have um, you can see here the uh, two or you can add more. I'm not gonna go into that, I don't think maybe. It will have first and foremost have the point of origin, so that's the transform position, which is where it, uh, where the enemy is at. And we need a radius, so let's say 7. Uh, 7 is approximately here, I guess. Approximately. You can see that the, the, the ground is 12 times 10, so it's like 7 is somewhere around the middle roughly calculated uh, we're gonna this will return a um, array of colliders so we have to collide let's call it hits uh, so now we have a an array of colliders uh, called hits which will return all the colliders that are within the overlap sphere not just the outer rim, which uh, is a completely different raycasting method. Um, 
so first and foremost it will hit itself because it is within its own radius it will also hit the floor because it's on the floor and if we move the player close enough it will also find a player and that's when we want it to move so uh, if we go to the player it is tagged as player um, the cube which is the floor is not tagged and the enemy is not tagged so we can say that um, we will have to iterate through these colliders so we can use a for each and call it for hit no I mean collider hit in hits and if the hit tag equals to player we will want to do something and that's when we want to move towards the player so let's just move this inside here and hopefully that should be it if I said it see okay the red uh, the red capsule is uh, not moving and hopefully once I cross this middle it should start moving towards me there we go and let's try to see if we can outrun it oh yeah okay we barely made it until we fell off and then it stopped I can try demonstrating it again I will quickly back off oops I'll quickly back off as soon as he starts following me, just to demonstrate. So, so only when I'm close enough. Obviously, if this was like a proper game, you would have some sort of function that will reset him and run him back to his uh, original position, but that's a uh, lesson for another day. So hopefully this would help you if you're having problems understanding overlap spheres uh, or how to use them. And uh, hope to see you later. Bye-bye.